Hi, my name is Whitney and I want to talk about how I've been on Wagovi for 10 weeks starting today and I know there's not a lot of information out there. Um, there are starting to be more testimonials and I kind of just wanted to go over what I've gone through so far. Um, I know there are some controversial thoughts about Wagovi right now and how you know, some people feel it's taken away from the diabetic community. Um, I need it because I am pre-diabetic and I have insulin resistance. I also have PCOS. Um, I am obese and I have done just about anything I can think of under the sun to lose weight. I have tried different medications, prescriptions, going to the gym. I've seen a nutritionist. I've changed what I eat. And honestly, just nothing's worked for me. So this is kind of just one more thing my provider has suggested that I do. So for the first four weeks, I was on the 0.25 Wagovi, and honestly, I didn't have anything. Uh, I was still ravenous all the time. Um, the only effect I would say that I had is severe constipation, which I've always kind of had IBS anyway, so I wasn't really sure if it was that or not. Um, I didn't really change too much what I was doing eating-wise. Um, because I've already been trying to do that, though I also will say that I notice severe fatigue, but I also suffer from depression and anxiety, so I didn't really know if it was because of that. Um, in month two, for the four weeks that I did the 0.5, uh, the fatigue continued and so did the constipation. Um, I didn't really still notice too much. I had not lost any weight yet and my appetite hadn't really changed but i decided to try and start combating some of that so in the mornings i would have a zero sugar gatorade with some protein <laughs> blah, some protein powder and some benefiber and that i found was really helpful um i also you know i've been trying to drink half my weight in ounces of water every day because I mean water is good for you anyway but I have noticed that that kind of helps curb my hunger a little bit too. Uh, other than that I just kind of chugged along for the first two months. Now um, today I took my second shot of the 1.0 and I will say last week um, and today I noticed a huge difference in my um, cravings and my appetite. I have to kind of force myself to eat sometimes, which I track what I eat on a food diary. I use my fitness pal. Um, so I think from here going forward, I'm probably going to start seeing six, some success. I did lose three pounds last week. Uh, I still kind of have the constipation issues. So I did download... <laughs> it's not really funny but I had to download a tracker of when I go to the bathroom because um there was like 10 days I didn't go and you know we really need to be mindful of that so that's been helpful I also downloaded a tracker to make sure I'm drinking enough water um I will say though the nausea has kicked in if I overeat or if I eat a lot of sugar um also motion sickness is out of control. I can't even be a passenger in a car for more than a couple of minutes without getting motion sickness. If I'm driving, I'm okay. So I had to go out and buy, I forget what it's called. I just got it at the drugstore. But it's, you know, for car rides and motion sickness and seasickness and all of that, that helped. Um, I will say also keeping some sugar-free mints helps with the nausea as well. Um, and also ginger chews have been really beneficial too. Plus they've also helped with something else that started last week. Um, really bad sulfury burps, like really disgusting tasting burps, gross. Um, so the ginger chews, like honestly put that right under control, which was pretty awesome. Um, I will say as far as like headaches and stuff, I haven't really had any of that. Um, diarrhea, I haven't had any of that. So like I said, I'm only on week 10, so I'm not really sure where I'm going to go from here. But I would say that, you know, if you start with Govi and you 
see all these other people are losing, you know, seven pounds a week. And after my first shot, I'm already losing weight. Don't be hard on yourself. Um, I was starting to get really depressed because I wasn't seeing anything, but all of our bodies are different. And like I said, I also have PCOS, I have obesity, I have, you know, all these other issues with insulin resistance. So we are all different. All of our bodies will react differently to it. Um, so if you start it, stick with it. I think this is really going to help. Um, I will say I'm also not craving sweet stuff or even starchy stuff anymore. Um, as funny as it sounds, like I've actually been craving like oranges and apples and salads and that's not me. I've always been like the go-to, like let's have some pasta, let's get some brownies, that kind of thing. So I really, I'm really hopeful that this is going to work. Um, this isn't a diet for me. This is a lifestyle change. Like I am 35 and I know that if I keep up with the way that I'm going in life, I'm not gonna live forever. So I, I needed help to get this going and I felt very stuck. So wish me luck and I will check back in with you guys in a couple of weeks if anybody really cares. Um, this is also kind of me putting myself out there so I can hold myself accountable. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I missed anything. I took some notes, but I didn't really look at them. I'm sorry. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, leave a message. I will get back to everybody and wish me luck. Thanks.